the Scottish Forces of Sock Puppet Theatre is just me here in Edinburgh today because I've left my colleague down in London and so am I and that was quick. How did you manage to get from London to Edinburgh in that time? I travelled by BBC Weather Map. BBC Weather, yeah, have you never travelled by BBC Weather Map? It's so much faster than the roads. Let me show you. Uh, look, this is last weekend's weather and there's the lovely Laura Tobin starting off in Scotland, which is nice. And you see how far it is from Aberdeen to Glasgow? It's, uh, it's about an inch, uh, three centimetres I'd call it, yeah. What is that in miles? Well, Aberdeen to Glasgow, 146 miles. And look, Aberdeen to Newcastle, not much further, about four centimetres on the BBC map. And if you drove it, that would be uh, Aberdeen to Newcastle, 237 miles. Oh, and then look, Newcastle to Manchester to Birmingham, they're about the same distance on the BBC map. Yeah, just out of interest. I wonder how far it would be from Birmingham to Norwich. Oh my God! Yeah, top tip, never travel east to west by BBC Weather Map. Birmingham to Norwich is about eight centimetres there, twice as far as Aberdeen to Newcastle. So the BBC thinks Birmingham to Norwich is 474 miles. Why do you think? You've never seen a TV show made in Norwich. As far as the BBC is concerned, it's in Denmark. So let me see. The further south you go, the slower it is. If you travel by BBC Weather Map, well, let's have a look at the distance from London to Cardiff. What? That's, that's the whole width of the screen. Yes, the BBC Map says that London to Cardiff is twice as far as Aberdeen to Newcastle. So very nearly 500 miles. That, this could explain an awful lot about BBC travel expenses. Yep, Doctor Who would cost half as much if they made it in Aberdeen, which by BBC Weather Map is about three centimetres closer to London than Cardiff. Wait, 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 wait. The whole country sees the BBC weather map, don't they? Surely it shows the country the shape the country actually is. Well, let's have a look. She's zooming back now, and there's the country in its proper ratio. So, so the Isle of Wight to Manchester is about three centimetres, and Manchester to John Groats at the top of Scotland is about three centimetres. That, that's about right, isn't it? Well, almost. Isle of Wight to Manchester is in fact 225 miles. Manchester to John O'Groats is 490 miles. How big is Cornwall again? Well, it fills most of the screen here, so pretty massive, I would say. And how big is Wales exactly? Well, not as big as Cornwall, obviously. Never fills the full height of the screen. And look, Belfast to Newcastle is not as far as one end of Cornwall to the other. And be reasonable. Be re look, she's about to zoom in on Scotland properly, and then we'll see. Oh no. No, she's not. OK, fair enough, you have revolutionised my travel plans. I'm going to be travelling by BBC Weather Map an awful lot more. In fact, next week, we've got to go to Dublin. Yeah, good luck with that.